I'm not a spokesman for the company, but I'm talking about a test that I think some men will find useful. This Yo home sperm test is ingeniously designed and it works. It has one particular drawback, but uh, it's a simple test really that anyone can do uh, if you're anxious about your fertility. I don't think it's as sophisticated as it needs to be in terms of the cutoffs, and I'll explain that. Basically, we just tested a man who had over 200 million sperm per cc, which is medical talk for how concentrated the sperm are. The problem with this test is it tells you that the, that the man has at least 6 million. It doesn't tell you that he's really a superstar. Uh, if he's got 8 million, if a, if a man has 8 million, he's really sub-fertile. And the way this test is read out, it tells you that it's moderate to normal and it doesn't distinguish between, it doesn't tell the difference between an 8 million count and a 200 million count. So I wish it was a little bit more specific, but at least a man can do this test and be sure that he has some sperm. Some men might find out that they've basically flunked this test. In that case, they would be really uh, at risk for having extremely low fertility and should see a doctor fairly quickly. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm going to say yes. this is a very faint pink. It's not so easy to see. Where is that? Like right here, right? Click. Don't touch it. Move to sun. Okay, start just. Don't touch it. That's about exactly what the. Okay. okay, this is analyzing. So that's the sperm sample, moderate to normal. Okay, what does it mean? Okay, so this is the problem. I'm going to just be talking. Okay. okay. This test is tells us that it's moderate to normal, but that's really not as helpful as I'd like it to be because you really need more than that to be pretty sure you're fertile. This particular man had a 200 million count and you really can't tell from this result. So he's very fertile. So I'm sure the only reason it's reads the way it is is something to do with the way it was approved by the Food and Drug Administration. So, so this this is a somewhat helpful. You know you've got at least six million, but in this case the man had almost two hundred million and uh, so it's not really as specific as we'd like it to be. So I'm going to... So next we're going to test a man who has demonstrably low 
sperm count in the past and see how he scores on this yo test.